and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am taking you through a gym workout. Oh my god, I'm doing it again. I am so sorry that I sing on YouTube. Someone please yell at me in the comments so I stop. Thank you. I'm taking you through a gym workout. We hit chest, thighs, and tries this morning. It was such a good workout. I just got back from the gym. I just made my breakfast, which I'm about to show you guys in a hot minuto. But the gym workout was so good. I have been loving pushing myself in the gym. Whether it's lower body day, upper body day, it doesn't matter. I've been really, really enjoying just trying to up my weight, even if I have to drop the reps. So I have been a really big advocate towards like three sets of anywhere between like 10 to 12 reps for most exercises. Recently, since I've been trying to up my weight, I've still been hitting three sets, but I've been doing closer to like sometimes six to eight reps of exercise because I'm really pushing myself weight wise. I really upped my weight doing chest press today and it felt so good. I had the bar, I had a 10 and I had a five. We were working and listen, I know that may not be hard for some of you, but that was a big accomplishment for me and I'm proud of it. So thank you very much. This workout is so easy to recreate into an at home workout. All of these exercises, I either use the bar, which obviously you can use dumbbells at home. And then I use dumbbells and you already know I finished off on my cables, but of course all those exercises can be translated into an at home workout as always. I will pop it in the description box down below my workout and also how you can translate it into an at home workout if you're still hitting it hard from home. So without further ado, let's head into the gym to show you my chest, thighs, and tries workout this morning. And then I'll show you my breakfast and we'll chitty chat when we're done.
So I am starting to prep dinner for tonight. So we are going to be making honey garlic chicken in the crock pot just because I wanted something quick and easy for my fam jam tonight. So we just went to Giant, our local grocery store, and we literally just picked up some chicken breast. I just got the family size because there's a decent amount of us. So I got the family size chicken breast, just boneless, skinless. I'm going to chop these bad boys up into smaller pieces just so it's easier to cook them up. Oh, throwing things. And then it's pretty simple ingredient wise. You just need some soy sauce. I got the reduced sodium just because soy sauce has so much sodium in it. So I figured we would get a little bit of a healthier version. Some apple cider vinegar, some honey, and then we're going to have some garlic that we're going to mince on up. And then you just need some water. So we are just going to chop up this chicken a little bit, toss it into the crock pot, mix the rest of our ingredients, sprinkle it over the chicken, and then it just cooks on high for four hours in the crock pot. So honestly, super, super easy. I'm really excited to try it out. I will let you guys know how it tastes, but very excited to mix something up a little bit, but just, and minimal ingredients. So love that for us. So now let's get cooking. So the chicken is in the crock pot for four and a half hours. Gonna let her bake up. I'm quite excited about it. I think we're gonna serve it with rice, but we also got little like slider buns in case anyone wanted to make a sandwich as well. We are now making lunch. We are making Bobby Evans mac and cheese. And we also have some chicken tenders that we have cooking in the oven right now. So I'll show you guys the finished product of that. And then once again, once dinner is done at around like 5 30 6 o'clock i'll show you how dinner came out and give a little review that way i'll pop it in the description box below if this recipe is actually worth our time does this look like a meal of a five-year-old 1010 percent am i still so forking excited yep lunch is forking served baby y'all that freaking honey garlic chicken was to die for it was so good i always get super nervous when i make things in the crock pot like pulled pork or pulled chicken because i feel like a lot of times it gets like dried out and it just like kind of loses some of the like natural flavors and juices and stuff like that but it was so flavorful and so just like 
mm, beautiful it was so good so 10 out of 10 recommend i'll pop the ingredients in the description down below because that's really all you need you really just need the ingredients and you mix the ingredients and dump the sauce over the chicken and then put it in the crock pot for four hours the easiest thing in the whole entire and it was perfect. We ate it with some rice. I had a little slider and some pulled chicken on the side. I am in love. But it is time to go to bed. It is 9.50 and that is far past your girl's bedtime because we got to be up at 5.15 in the morning to go hit the gym again. So we're going to wrap this bad boy up here. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Y'all already know it supports my channel. If you haven't, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video that I post and hit that bell notification so you can notify every time I put up a new video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram so you can see all the other fitness, health, and lifestyle content that I post on there. And, oh, my triceps are sore. And I will catch you guys here next time.